welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Brittany Jade and in today's video I am going to be showing you guys really cute, affordable, quarantine friendly Easter baskets that you guys can pick up at your local Walmart today. You can save money which I know is a huge concern right now with the way that the economy is going in this huge pandemic and it's also a way that we can come together and celebrate Easter with our families and just give our kids something kind of fun and out of the ordinary of just being in the house. I for one am really looking forward to Easter this year. I feel like Easter is just such an amazing thing for us, especially me as a Christian who believes that, you know, this was the day that Jesus was born again, that he arose from the dead. And it is because of God's great sacrifice that we are here today and that we are forgiven. And I just can't imagine an Easter Sunday where I don't get to go to church. So this is like mind blowing for me. This is a totally new experience, but I am willing to have a positive mindset, celebrate Jesus and teach my kids about the meaning of Easter while also celebrating some fun things with them. So I did go and pick up some Easter baskets for them at Walmart while I was doing some essential grocery shopping. And I just figured since the Easter stuff is already out and it's at Walmart, which is an approved essential business that is still open across the world right now, I believe, or across the United States, sorry. I figure why not grab a basket I was able to save a lot of money because I didn't get like my big pottery barn Easter baskets this year and I figure I would be able to show you guys something cute, something inexpensive, something that is really fun for your kids and something for good age ranges too. As you guys know, my daughter is three and my son TJ is seven months. So I did get a few more things for my daughter because she's older and she'll just be able to do more. I wanted to let my son have something also. So let's go ahead and get right on into these baskets. I'll start with TJ's because that basket is so much smaller and I'll talk about everything that we got in the basket. TJ's basket is this nice little plush blue basket. Pick this up from Walmart. I believe this basket was like five or six dollars or something like that. Super cute and soft for him. He'll be able to play with this after. And the first thing that I got him was this Fisher Price Time to Learn smartwatch. And I really love this toy because I feel like it's perfect for his age. It's six to 36 months. So it's got like a little dial here where you can like turn and it makes noise. And then it also has these little fun clippy pieces down here, which is really good. It's got a lot of contrasting colors, which is nice for his age range. And then also it does play music and light up. So let's see if I can. One, two, three. And it plays music and things like that. I just thought this would be kind of fun for him. All he's gonna do is put it in his mouth anyways. Um, the next thing that I got out of his basket, this is actually more for both of them. And I was running out of ideas of what to put in his basket, honestly. So a lot of these things I think both of my kids can use. But these are just magnetic letters and numbers, which I'm going to be putting them on a refrigerator. We have reached the age with having kids where I wanna have magnetic um, letters and numbers on the fridge just to kind of help with our day-to-day -day activities. This is also a great activity for us while we're on quarantine right now. Homeschooling at home, my daughter who's out of preschool. This is just great, it just really helps with letter recognition, number recognition, and I just figured that would be a fun little thing to add to his Easter basket. The next thing that I got was this farm animals baby touch book and I really love these books. My daughter had a book like this when she was a baby too and it's got all different types of farm animals and when you open it up it's got all of these different like sensory feely look things which is really cool for babies. It gives them like a lot of different textures and stuff like that and it gives them different things to feel. My daughter really loved having this kind of book when she was a baby and we actually still have it so I am excited for TJ to have this book for bedtime and I did get him another book I got him this little bunny book and these books were like three dollars in Walmart and I just feel like books are really good for babies like it's always really good to start reading to your baby pretty much from birth I was reading to TJ while he was still in the uterus so that's 
a huge thing. We always do bedtime stories at night and we try to include both of the kids during bedtime stories, so that's that. And then I just picked up this little winding bath toy thing. It's one of those little things where you wind the bottom of it and then the little tail does this and it just swims in the water. I thought this was super cute. I mean, he's a baby, but he does enjoy bath time now. He's starting to have more fun with it. So I figured I would get him his own little personalized bath toy. And my daughter will enjoy this also. And then the last thing I got him were these cute little Easter Bunny glasses. I actually picked these up at the Dollar Tree. So this was a cute find while I was there picking up crafts for the kids. And I just thought these were so cute. I actually grabbed a pair for both of them. And I can't wait to get a picture of them in these. These are just super cute. So that is everything that I got out of TJ's basket. Okay, so here is Novalee's basket. This is just a super cute little like cloth style basket. This was only, again, only a few dollars at the Walmart, so super cost effective. Not like those $40 Pottery Barn personalized baskets that I've gotten in the past. She actually has hers downstairs, but I decided for the sake of this that we would just do something really nice and small for the kids this year since we're not doing some huge Easter egg hunt. So I just picked this up and I thought this was just super cute and something that we can even use as like decor in her room later on so it will serve as a basket. And I am all about functionality and pieces that serve for multiple purposes. So the first thing that I got her were obviously these ginormous wings. I picked these up. These were also at the Dollar Tree. She is really loving playing dress up right now and her development and the age that she is right now playing dress up is a huge part of the way that she likes to learn and play and express herself and be creative. So she's really loving that and she loves princesses. And she actually told me that her favorite color is pink, which I was surprised about that she's already forming, you know, um, favorite colors and things that she prefers. So I just thought that was really cool. So I did pick these up from the Dollar Tree and they have just, I'm gonna take this tag off, but it just has these little strings that just go on the back, you know, wings. And I thought this was so cute. She's gonna love that. If you guys didn't know, I am a freelance makeup artist and my daughter loves playing in my makeup and she loves getting her nails done. So I picked up this super cute unicorn little bag. It's just got little kids play makeup in there and some nail polish and lip gloss. She is going to freak when she sees this. Like she absolutely loves all things girly. She loves little makeup and little eyeshadows and those nail polish colors are so cute cute. She's obsessed with having me paint her nails. So I am so excited for her to get this. And this was only a few dollars. I think it was like five bucks at Walmart. So you cannot beat it. Any little girl would love this. I also picked her up a pair of those glasses from the Dollar Tree and these are in pink. So I got the glasses for both kids and those wings from the Dollar Tree. The do Don't sleep on the Dollar Tree, you guys. They actually have a lot of cute little trinkets for kids. And I picked this fun little game up for the kids. Um, let me actually open this so I can show it to you. I got this at Walmart and this was in their Easter like seasonal aisle. And it's these cute little cones here. And it's actually a game. So there's little balls in here and there's these handles. And when you press the button, whoo! Oh my gosh, okay, that went really far. Farther than I thought it was gonna go. Let me go and actually. Okay, so you just like shoot the ball in here. It's more fun because you press these buttons and it pops out and then the other person tries to like catch it. I think this is gonna be so fun for her and she's going to love this and hopefully it keeps her entertained for a while because you know, we are all about the toys that entertain the kids for a while. And then let's see, I picked her up one of those little books, um, the same that I got like TJ. This is just a little chick book. I love getting seasonal books for the kids with like the theme of the holidays. So it's Easter, so we have all of our Easter books out. And then for Nova, I did pick up this Easter storybook. And this is just like a nice like colorful illustration book. And it talks about um, Jesus's resurrection and the events around like the first Easter. And it's explained in a way that like kids will understand Understand, so I really like that a lot and Nova does go to our kids church at our church And so they do learn a lot about they learn a lot about the gospel basically But in a way that is child-friendly so she's starting to get to the age now where you know We're really explaining to her like about God and Jesus and you know things that happen and she's starting to really pick up on those things so I, we really love including like 
um, children's Bible stories and books into her like nightly rotation. And then we also, I also picked up this uh, springtime sticker Facebook and it's really cute because on the inside there are like blank animals. Like, okay, so like there's that blank little, let's see if I can get that in there without this light. So there's like blank animals in there like this, like the little bunny. And then in the back, there are stickers with like eyes and nose and face and different things like that. So she can learn about face recognition and where the little eyes and things like that go and how to decorate the um, animals that are in here. So I thought this was super cute and my daughter is obsessed with stickers. I think this was like a dollar, so, so cute. And the last thing that I got for Nova was this little Zuru Sparkle Girls. Um, Barbie doll and this was four dollars and ninety seven cents at Walmart super inexpensive and Super cute. It's got she's got like these cute little wings that I think Nova will love She's like a little fairy or something and Nova is really starting to get into Barbie dolls I can't wait like I was obsessed with Barbie dolls growing up So we are going to start her stockpile for sure if she starts showing more interest in dolls like this, but she loves her mermaid Barbie doll, and so I'm hoping that she really loves this one. She's just super cute, and she was super inexpensive, so I had to grab it. So you guys, that is everything that I got my kids for Easter this year, and I really hope that you guys love this budget-friendly Easter haul. Definitely make sure while you're out getting your essential groceries for the week that you do not sleep on Walmart's Easter section it's probably still pretty full. Make sure that you grab your kids just a few things to celebrate Easter. Don't let this pandemic or coronavirus take away from your children and celebrating Jesus. And even if you don't get them a basket, like let's not forget the reason why we celebrate. It is for God and for Jesus's resurrection. These frilly things are just for fun. But if you guys are looking for a fun way to kind of mix up your quarantine routine with the kids and just kind of get them excited for something other than sitting in the house and looking at you all day, I hope that you guys got some great ideas and some great tips and maybe you can at least get some new books or fun things for Easter. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Make sure that you guys thumbs up this video. And if you're new here, make sure that you smash that subscribe button so that you don't miss any more videos from me. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.